Years ago, I went to a European factory trained seamstress begging her to teach me how to set in a sleeve. I had tried everything, ease stitching, steaming, sleeve side down, nothing to me worked good enough. And she said, Londa, it's all in the fingers. I'm gonna show you what she taught me, which is the only way that I have set in sleeves for 47 years. So come look close. The first thing you need to realize is you need to mark things very carefully. There are dots and there are notches, a single notch in the back, a double notch in the back, both on the garment and on the sleeve. But one thing a lot of people forget is those dots. The dots on the sleeve and the front and back are equally important to match. And then if it's a dropped yoke or something, you do want to mark where the top of the sleeve joins into the arm's eye. With all of those things marked in six pins, one pin at the bottom of the whole armhole, one pin at the top, one pin at each of the dots, and one pin at each of the notches. To save time, I have sewn around, starting here at this notch, around past the other notch and up to the dot. In that distance, there really is no easing that happens. And I have two different colors of fabric here so that you can really see the magic of what's going on and also contrasting color thread in both the top and the bottom. The other thing you might want to do is take a marker and mark your seam line on the sleeve. Now understand, the sleeve is up. I want to see what I'm easing into the armhole. You have to have some kind of tool. I like this point presser creaser. You can use the tip of a scissors, you can use a seam ripper. And what she said was, Londa, you just have to ease it in in each and every stitch. So just watch, I've got my needle down on. You might wanna put slow speed on. Now I have already come around to the top of the sleeve at the very top inch or so, there really isn't any ease. The thing of it is, is that the sides of a sleeve are biased and because the bias grain is there, you can really just work in all of that fullness. You really can. Now this is hard work. If one of these cameramen came up here and pressed my arms, they would see that my muscles are really tensed. I'm working at this. I'm not just saying, oh, it's not gonna go in. It will go in if you work at it. So I'm going very slow. If you have slow speed on your machine, that's a great feature, employ it. Tall man finger is very important. Do you see how much fullness I've got to get in here? I'm going to plant my tall man and then know that I've got to work in that much fullness. So now I'm going to speed up a little bit here. One of the things you need to do is to keep your edges even, but you know, if that's not exactly perfect, chances are it's not going to matter that much. So we're going to keep going here. Do you see how I take my pusher and push it in at each and every stitch? And now I'm home free. I'm down to that dot and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out and show you what a nice smooth sleeve cap I have. And if it has any wobbles in it, you can always go back now with the garment side up and fix any wobbles. Give it a try, work at it, you'll love it.